Hey, this is our camping raft. I'm at Crazy Neighbors right now. Crazy Neighbors doing the camera work. We are throwing this together. There is no build sheet for it. There's no instructions. And I didn't want to do a step-by-step -step on how to build this because we're really not even sure how we're doing it ourselves. We have eight flotation barrels all held down with ratchet straps. And through the middle here, we've got a two by four, followed by a two by six, followed by a two by 10, all screwed and glued together. We've got these stringers that go across. There is supports under each one to give it a little less flex this way. And we put in some deck hangers. Everything is screwed and glued together. We got the 18 horse on the back, which should hopefully push this up the river. We'll find out. So we're doing sea trails tomorrow. We're gonna to put the decking on here. We've got a lot of plywood that we're gonna stick on here. Glue it with PL Premium, because PL Premium is uh, really sticky, good stuff. And this is gonna be on the river soon. We're gonna keep working on this with a bunch of guys today, and then we'll be camping. Here, working on the raft with Captain John, marine mechanic consultant who's assisting us with this build. And we've got the plywood on, throwing everything together for the sea trials tomorrow. So that should, that, that should work pretty good, I think. Okay, we are launching the do-it-yourself camping raft. Yep. Oh, yes, this chair can move. Stop. What? Yeah. Why don't you come over here and dump Steve while we're launching? Well, that's all right. I'll just film from on the boat. Give me the rope. Okay, all right. Okay. Here is the do it yourself camping raft. My job is to pass the rope to Bob over there. So, here we go. Back this way, Glenn. Huh. Way over to the wrong side. Mm. Floating. Let's get deeper real quick here. Let's get deeper. Okay. All right. We're on the water. That's what I did. Look at that. Perfect huh? Perfect height just by sheer coincidence. Coming on there, We are floating in our barrels here fairly yeah we got uh well, of course, now we have bow come up 15 day pushing the butt bow down oh no I can't see forward here we are So we need those diverters because we are we're pushing that front down pretty badly. We're not down far enough. We've returned to the dock here after the first little part to see if it actually floats. Like all our straps are on good. Now when it's fully loaded, it floats at about halfway up the barrels which is to be expected because we added a fair bit of weight onto it but we have captain john here our marine mechanic who has just shown up and he's going to take a look at this and make sure see that's what happens when bob is on one side is that it floats a lot lower isn't that right bob What's that? floats a little lower yeah i think it's good <laughs> Floats real good, yeah. Floats quite fine. 
So we're gonna get it out and do maneuverability tests in a little bit, guys. Awesome! Pucker down! Hold on, I gotta zoom in on that. stable. It is. Seems to turn on a dime. Watch for that buoy up there, right? Going out into the main lake now, out of this bay. The bay is the same spot. This could get a little choppy. We went into town for some Smokies and some buns so that we can have a little meal out on the lake here and test this thing out a little bit more. So far, I'm very impressed with this little rig. Just trolling along on the, or the lake, we're not on the river, and Crazy Neighbors got some barbecuing happening here. We're gonna have some Smokies. successfully back on the trailer and it was a good trip we're gonna uh, do more of this at home we'll get it a little bit in better shape but she survived sea trials were a great success I'm back at crazy neighbors compound here we've added these diverters onto the front of the craft so that it should cut through the water a little better and we put in some storage bays all the way down. We've got six of these that pop up and we've got storage underneath. Uh, again, I didn't do a detailed build on this because we had no idea what we were doing. Oh, crazy neighbors grabbing the camera. Awesome. We had no idea what we were doing. We actually started out with just a few pallets for this mobile camping secret loophole platform. And the donations came in, so we actually have something relatively safe because the pallet, we would certainly die in about a second if we actually took what we planned out on the lake or the river. So I have to give a, a good shout out to all these people in the live stream that had donated uh, money and to people who have sent donations, people who have bought t-shirts. You're making this crazy dream of mine possible and I'm going to take you guys along for this because it, uh, it, it really would not be where it is without all the generous donations to this absurd cause on the internet on YouTube. But this thing is going to set sail. I've, this is the Thursday video, so I'm dedicating to this Thursday thing. We have one more trial on this, and then we're going to take it out on the river for our good uh, trip. It's going to be possibly snowing here. So that could make it a little more interesting. This, uh, this thing is awesome. We've got storage in here for our ropes in these uh, front compartments. And I'm gonna give a shout out to Chud327 on YouTube. He has a bunch of videos where he builds something similar and we drew inspiration from his. We got good ideas for these front diverters. And people are, if you're wondering on how to build something like this, we, we just looked on YouTube and Google on how to do this. And we came up with this, this thing. It works well on the river, throwing a tent on there, a fire pit up front, and we'll be camping within city limits, legally, I think, on this raft. We're registering it. We've got the forms all filled out. We're gonna get a vessel number on it. I've got my pleasure craft operator card. So this thing is going to be set to sail here this week and I'm going to do some more urban stealth camping as well and hopefully get out of town sometime soon. It's so much with work building this thing has been a full-time project but we're going to have all this good to go. So I've got other videos to check out and if you 
you're if you can handle what I'm doing and you want to see a little bit more, you can subscribe also. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go camping. We'll see you guys in the next video, probably before next Thursday, but definitely by next Thursday. So thanks everybody, and until next time, hunker down. Oh.